Hey everyone, a very good morning to all of you. Myself, Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. So let's begin today's class. So guys, this is the timetable for RJ Sebi Nabad live session. And this is our mobile application. So let's begin with the question number one. Where was the Vayu, the Vital Life Force Conference organized? So here, Bhubaneswar guys is the right answer. Now it is nothing but a simple conference that was held to discuss various ideas on air pollution. Okay, how to tackle this problem. So that was the basic idea. So it was organized in Bhubaneswar, Odisha under the Azadi Kamrit Mahotsa by the Ministry of Environment. So Ministry of Environment is organizing this air pollution conference is not a very difficult fact to remember. Okay, so that is an easy fact. Now, the basic idea of this is to discuss on ways so that the targets under the national clean air program can be achieved. So we are going to discuss about this program because that is of much importance in comparison to this conference. Okay. Organizing ministry we have discussed. So let's directly come to the point. So the point is that the national clean air program may have to First is 2019. Second is 2024. Third is 2017 and there is one more number that you need to remember 132. 2019 is the launch year. 2024 is the deadline year for this mission. <clears throat> okay, it has been launched for 2019 to 2024. 2017 is the base year. And 132 is the number of cities which are being assessed under this program. Okay. So, in 2019, it was launched by the Ministry of Environment in order to tackle the problem of air pollution in 132 non-attainment cities. Okay, And this program will run till 2024. Okay, So these are the three numbers which are interconnected. Now, the target of this program is to reduce the particulate matter that is PM 2.5 and PM 10 level by 20 to 30 percent. Now, if they are planning to reduce this number, obviously there must be a comparison base. So, what is the base? So, base is the 2019, sorry, 2017. So, this is the base year of comparison for the PM 2.5 and PM 10 level in air in 2024. Okay. So, this is how this number is also important. Okay. Then, this target is also important. So, now you have 20 17, 20, 19, 20, 24, 130, 2, 20, 230 percent. These are the numbers that you need to remember in this program. If you are good at maths, if you are good at playing with numbers, then you can just try to write it down like this and remember it. Otherwise, if you try to create a story around it, for example, 2019 may launch kiya gaya till 2024 to compare the level of a PM 2.5 and 2, uh, PM 10 in 132 cities in comparison to 2017's level. Okay, so in this manner also you can remember these numbers but only these numbers are important in this entire program. These are worth memorizing. Otherwise the other things are also important but they are more on the conceptual part so you can understand them better and these are the things that will make uh, you put an effort, okay? Now, wait. Uh, non attainment cities we have discussed that 132 non attainment cities were identified, but on what basis were they identified? So, <coughs> the cities, guys, the cities which have exceeded the national ambient air quality standard in the past five years were identified as non-attainment cities. So initially, 124 cities were identified only and later on, eight cities were added by the 15th Finance Commission into this mission. So this bifurcation is also important for you to remember that initially only 124 cities were identified. So these eight are the million plus cities, the cities which have the population above 10 lakh. 
now here you can clearly see that the basic idea is explained so you can read it on your own as well there is nothing much to understand it this point is important that is Pran portal so a specific portal was launched related to this national clean air program and this portal is portal for regulation of <coughs> air pollution in non-attainment cities so it aids in reporting and monitoring of physical and financial progress of the national clean air program that is NCAP. Okay, so question number two is <coughs> recently the Meghalaya mental health and social care policy has been launched for addressing the issues of mental health and social care through collaborative engagement with communities. How many states have launched such policies for mental health, including Meghalaya? So that three states are the, I would say, most aware states uh, which have taken the step to formalize this entire uh, work of providing mental health care through the community, uh, people and through social work. So three states are there, Kerala, Karnataka and now Meghalaya. So the basic idea of this is Meghalaya mental health and social care is to provide the mental health care to the patients. Okay. So it is a comprehensive policy on mental health and social care. It aims to pay attention to the issues of mental health, especially among children, adolescents and youth. Recently, we had a national suicide prevention policy as well. Now your a task is to tell me the target of that policy in the comment section below because I taught you this policy some days back. So Karnatak and Kerala, these are the two other states which have launched such policies and the central government had launched a national mental health policy in 2014. Okay, recently we discussed about the Telling Manas initiative as well, which aims to provide the counseling to the people through the telecommunication. Okay, so do remember such an issue. Question number three, which state agency, space agency has launched the equilibrium lunar earth 0.6U on NASA's Orion spacecraft. So here, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency is the right answer. So here guys, this equilibrium lunar earth 0.6U is uh, has been converted into an acronym and acronym is this equilus okay so this has been launched on the orion spacecraft now i hope you remember about this orion spacecraft i just taught you in one or two days back okay so this spacecraft has entered into the lunar uh, lunar orbit and it is a precursor to the artemis mission Okay, so on this spacecraft, this cube satellite, that is a small satellite. <coughs> has been launched by Japan. Okay. Now guys, this Equilus is the world's first satellite that used the water propellant propulsion system. Propulsion system is used in the engines to propel the engine to make the engine work and take the vehicle from one place to another place okay that is the only thing that you need to, need to remember otherwise everything else is the technicality and the technical things are not asked in the examination so this much is important this you can also skip not very important question number four with which organization has yes bank partnered to create a comprehensive technology platform easy and sure so here, <coughs> Turtle Fin is the right answer. Very unique name, Turtle and Fin. Turtle Fin. So Turtle Fin and Yes Bank, both of them have collaborated and uh, they are going to develop this easy and short platform. Okay, so basically on this easy and short platform, which the Turtle Fin is going to develop for Yes Bank, all the insurance products of the bank will be displayed okay so you can access any product through the easy and short platform and that is the basic idea behind this platform and the entire news is based on this okay 
So I hope this much is clear. So uh, let me read it out to you. So it is going to provide a host of benefits such as a seamless single point online insurance service, ability to compare and select a suitable insurance cover basis <clears throat> based on the consumer's need as, as well as a facility to compare costs for rationalizing purchase decisions. So all such facilities will be provided to the customers. Question number five. <clears throat> which organization has launched Asia's first end-to-end -end embedded finance platform, Zwitch, in collaboration with SDM Bank Limited? So Zwitch has been launched by the Open Financial Technologies. So here, SBM, SBM Bank India, and the open financial technologies, both of them have launched this Zwitch. Now this Zwitch guys is an API platform. API is application <coughs> program interface. So this is basically, a, you can say a code type of a thing. So on the basis of this API, the fintech companies or any kind of company can create their own application okay suppose an api has been created for the insurance sector so all the insurance companies would be able to create their own application by using the api okay and now this api is for the financial services so this api can be used by the uh, companies in the financial sector to create their own application or with the desired features that the companies want okay so that is the basic idea now it is asia's first end-to-end -end embedded finance platform okay so it will help the companies to develop their own products so here you can see to offer a no code low code and full stack API solution that enables the fintechs to build their own financial products using the Zwitch technology stack. Okay, so here what the companies can do, they can create their own products on this technology stack. Furthermore, Zwitch is built and operated by Open, the world's fastest growing digital banking enterprise. So what you need to remember? This much. Okay, this number is also not important. Open is the fintech company, it is a digital banking enterprise, not a fintech company. So banking enterprise that helps the banks and the financial companies in developing their technological solutions. So here guys, in the end, I just want to remind you of the surprise that is coming on December 11th. So stay tuned to the channel and wait for the surprise that is going to be launched on this day. On that note, let's say goodbye to each other. I hope you have enjoyed the content. If you were disturbed by my cuff, guys, I cannot do anything about it. Uh, but I can apologize for that. Now, cuff ki baat nikli hai, to aapko bas itna gehna chahungi ki agar aap Dilli mein ya aise kisi bhi non-attainment city mein reh rahe, so please take care of yourself, of your throat, respiratory system and, and everything of yours, okay? Because this is the changing weather. You may catch fever, cold, anything. So keep yourself warm, keep yourself safe and study hard to achieve your goals. Okay. So on that note, I would like to say goodbye to all of you. Thank you so much guys for watching this video.